Hey guys. I'll see if I can make this halfway interesting. It's, that may be too lofty of a goal for me. But this is the kind of stuff that I tend to obsess over and overthink and then think about it some more and then overthink about it some more and all that. Hopefully I'm not the only crazy person in the world. But, so, Exhibit A. This is my new Tascarella. I had it uh, shipped back to get rewrapped. And I like it a lot. I got it back. I like it a lot. It's a wow key for me. I've said that. I have to look at my board here. This cube weighs 19.186 ounces. And I just saw that number when I weighed it. And said, well, that just seems low. I shoot with a 19 and a half. And so I took my other Tascarella and I took the weight bolt out of it and swapped it into this one to make this cube weigh more. And that took this cube up to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 19.461 ounces, so almost 19 and a half. I'm not going to say I, that I liked it worse. I'm certainly not going to say I liked it better. But I, did, I, I didn't see a whole lot of a change, except that what I did notice was that there were a lot of shots, not a lot, but there were, there were some shots that I was underhitting or overhitting. And I hadn't been doing that before. And, you know, part of it might have been, you know, the, the whole magic of having a new cue was starting to wear off a little bit. I was getting lazy, I guess. But just as an experiment, I swapped the weight bolts back and brought this cue back to 19.147 ounces. And this time, that time I saw a difference a better difference. What had been kind of an unpredictable hit at times became a nice, solid, awesome, wow, hitting cue again for me. Uh, almost every shot that I that I shot with it. I switched, when I switched the weight bolt and got this cue back to it, it's lighter configuration. Like the very first thing I did was ran 13 in one pocket, and I, I'm usually not a 13 ball runner. Every now and then I will, but so it was, you know, it was pretty damn cool. So that's kind of Exhibit A. Exhibit B, I guess, might be my Tim Scruggs. Now I do not know the weights of what I'm going to talk about with the Tim Scruggs. But when I got it, I got it on a Thursday, I mentioned before, and I went in uh, on Saturday and just murdered the shit out of a guy in bank. Every bank I shot was going in the hole. There was, it was almost like magic for me. That was a good shot. That said, yeah, I got, I got used to that scrubs more than I've ever gotten used to anything ever. So, of course, as soon as I got home, I weighed it, and it was a little over 19. So I dug out a weight, dug a weight bolt out of my box. It's the same weight bolt as within a shot, and I bumped it up to like 19 and a half. I added that weight to it, shot with it, didn't like it as much. So swapped it back, and so now my Scruggs is back to its lighter configuration. The reason I've always said that I shot with a 19 and a half is because that's what my R12 is, 19 and a half. When I was younger, I had a McDermott D12. It was close to 21. So back then, I shoot with a 21 inch cube. But there was like no real reason except that's just what I had. I, 
That was a good, that was a really horrible shot. There was a cat down there, I remember mentioned that this cat likes to rub on my feet, and when she does, I miss every single shot. So I, so I kind of have to time my shots with her feet rubbing stuff. And sometimes that doesn't work out. Where the hell was I? I don't remember. Oh, so I've been playing pool for 40 years. I do not know what is the ideal weight for me on a cue. I know that sometimes they feel too light. Like when I got my first test grill, it was barely 18 ounces. And I can kind of tell just from shooting with it. Man, this this is too light. That was as precise and scientific as I got. It, it feels too light. I know if I picked up, I have a 25, it's like 25.4 ounce uh, Rage brake cube. I know if I put a, a real tip on that and tried to shoot with it, I would go, oh, this is too heavy. Again, that's as scientific as I would get. Watch out, kitty. But, yeah, I've been playing for a long time, and I kind of feel like I, I should know. Maybe I'm, you know, good enough advanced enough that I should know what is my best weight for a cue. I don't, and I kind of want to find out. Uh, I have a spreadsheet, because I'm a nerd, I've mentioned that before, that has all these different categories for weights, and weight of the cue, weight of just the shaft, weight of the butt, and, and I, I have all that information on all my cues, and it would just be a matter of just shooting with them, trying to be you know completely objective about it and what is it maybe I used to shoot with it well I know I used to shoot with a 20 ounce cube maybe back then maybe that was the correct weight for me and maybe it was the correct weight for me beyond just the fact that that's what I had and maybe since then I've shot with nothing you know 19 and a half and that was the correct weight beyond just that's what I had but maybe the proper weight for me now, my stroke has changed and whatever. Maybe the proper weight for me now is closer to 19. Maybe it's, well, I don't think it's under 19. But hell, for all I know, it could be. What's happened to me when I get a really light cue is I'll shoot like two shots and go, oh, it's too light. And I'll, grab something else or I'll put some weight in or whatever. With this cue when I got it back, I didn't shoot with it and go, oh well this is this is not playing well or whatever. I just looked at the number of nineteen point one four seven and said, well that's clearly too light because I shoot with a nineteen and a half. Well I think I was wrong. In in the case of this cue I think I was wrong. This cube should not be 19 point, uh, what did I say, 496 ounces, or 461. It should not be. I played better with this cube. At a lighter weight. And so that's one of the things that I messed with, obsessed over, whatever, what is the, what is the proper weight for me? And you can kind of go beyond that, there's a bond weight, Dave, you can kind of go beyond the weight, everybody probably already knows this, but the weight bolt on these cues is back here. So, by taking out the light aluminum weight bolt that was in here and putting in a heavier, uh, probably steel. Not only did I make it heavier, I made it heavier back here. I changed the balance point. The balance point on this cue is about right here. With that heavier weight bolt in it, more weight in the back, that balance point is going to be back here a little bit further. Maybe that is important. Again, I don't know, but I, I really do kind of feel like I should know what is the 
best balance point for me. I feel like since I took this back to the, the lower weight that I, I shoot a hell of a lot better with it than I did when it was you know at my proper weight that I thought was my proper weight. I could be completely wrong and completely insane and things could revert back the other way any, any second now and I, I might wish I had the weight again. I'm just not like that right now and I haven't been since I reduced this weight, since I reduced the weight on this cube, I felt like I made the right choice in doing that. The other thing that I noticed, and this is the thing that got me kind of thinking maybe about the balance, is that this cube, when it's lighter in its lighter configuration like it is right now, this cube ball moves around better. than it did when it was heavy. So I'm going to shoot this 13, slight cut on the 13 to my right, come around one, two, three, maybe four rails with an eye in his pocket. Just, just, just a stroke shot is all I would do. Just, I was actually testing how much squirt this cue had. And I would just shoot it, and you have to make the ball. Did I ever mention that you have to make the ball? If you don't make the ball, the whole damn test is invalid, right? I don't think it's going to quite come around to there. But when this cube was heavier, I wasn't even going to come that far. It, was, it wasn't going to happen. Is, am I getting a better stroke on the ball because it's lighter and I can move my arm faster? Quite possible. Am I getting a better stroke on the ball? because it's a little bit more forward weighted now in this lighter configuration. Also entirely possible. I don't know which one is most important. Looks like I'm going to be pretty darn consistent on that. Maybe not. Maybe not. This is why I don't put everything that I ever record on YouTube. Because a lot of it is just crap like this. I make these videos for myself, and I've been doing it for a decade, and a lot of it is just, just crap like that, like this. Like, what's my proper weight? I should find that out. What's my proper balance point? I should find that out. There's a lot of stuff like that. I am curious, though, if if I have changed. Like, again, I shot with those heavier cues for a long time because that's, that's what I had. And then I, if I got another cue, you know, that was lighter, I'd go, well, I, I know I've always shot with a 19 and a half, so let's bump this new cue up to 19 and a half. And that was the only reason, not because 19 and a half was better, just simply because it was what I was used to. I am curious, though, have, have I changed it? has what is the, the best weight for me changed over the years. I'm sure my stroke has changed over the years. Um, has the weight, the best weight that is suited for the, the strokes that I have, has that changed? Has the balance point changed? I used to shoot with a McDermott D12 and all the, almost, well, it seemed like every bit of the weight was back here. And that cue was almost 21 ounces. It's a very butt heavy cue, they say. Of course, that's what I had. I don't know if it was what was best for me or not. I guess, it's, I mean, it's entirely possible that back then, a cue that was, you know, more butt heavy was proper for me. It's also possible that back in the 80s, I could have got. I could have gotten better by selecting a different cue. I don't freaking know, man. Gotta figure out how to how to 
how to shoot pool and talk to the camera. This has been a problem for me forever. I, I've always just called it the, the camera bug. And it's not the camera bug, it's me not willing to shut up long enough to actually shoot the shot. And a little bit more than just shut up. I have to stop talking, stop thinking about the camera. And then I can get into the mode of the shot. And that's the theory. Easier said than done because I, I do like to yammer into the camera as well. I don't think I like yammering into the camera as much as I like making balls though. Anyway, so that's kind of my latest little thing that I'm trying to figure out is can I figure out what is the proper weight for me? Can I figure out what is the proper balance point for me? I don't know if I can do that or not. Cause it, I really kind of think whatever I pick up and shoot with for a while, I think I'm just going to get used to that. The only you know evidence I have that the weight might truly be important, the balance point may, might truly be important for me, is, like I said, when I change the weight of this, my ability changed. When I change the weight of my 10 shrugs, my ability changed. So I changed it back. And if I had stuck with, with, that, with that change and gotten used to that, yeah, I don't know. I wish I did know. That's kind of why I'm yammering in the camera right now. So I can gripe and say, I wish I did know. I overcut that ball. I overcut that ball. See that bullshit? I guess that's it.